Matt here from chemistrystudent.com. In this video, we're going to look at shapes of molecules and VSEPR theory. The shape of a molecule or polyatomic ion is determined by the number of electron pairs around a central atom, and more specifically, the number of bonding pairs and lone pairs. If these are known, we can actually predict the shape of a molecule using something called valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, or VSEPR. There are different ways to approach learning this theory. However, I like my students to think of it in two steps, and this is how I normally teach it. First, we consider the total number of electron pairs, or electron regions, around the central atom. This gives us a starting arrangement before we consider the bonding and lone pairs of electrons to give us a final shape. For two electron regions, they will arrange themselves in a linear way, with 180 degrees between each region. For three electron regions, they will arrange themselves in what's called a trigonal planar arrangement, with 120 degrees between each region. For four electron regions, they will arrange themselves in what's called a tetrahedral arrangement, with 109.5 degrees between each region. For five electron regions, they will arrange themselves in what's called a trigonal bipyramidal arrangement, with 180 degrees and 120 degrees between each region. And for six electron regions, they will arrange themselves in what's called an octahedral arrangement, with 90 degrees between each region. This is our first step, almost considering each electron region as a balloon. The arrangements of the balloons will depend on the number there are around a central point, the atom. Now, we need to consider how many of the electron regions are bonding pairs and how many are lone pairs of electrons. If the central atom has no lone pairs of electrons, then the number of bonding pairs is the same as the number of electron regions, and the shape and bond angles are the same as the starting arrangement. For example, two bonding pairs and no lone pairs would give a linear shape, with a bond angle between the bonds of 180 degrees. For three electron regions where there are no lone pairs of electrons, only three bonding pairs, trigonal planar, with an angle between each bond of 120 degrees. For four electron regions where there are no lone pairs, only four bonding pairs, tetrahedral, with bond angles of 109.5 degrees. However, if one of these electron regions was a lone pair, then now this shape would be called trigonal pyramidal, or sometimes just pyramidal, as the lone pair of electrons replaces one of the bonds in the tetrahedral arrangement, leaving three bonds left. The lone pair of electrons also repels the remaining three bonds more than they repel each other decreasing the bond angle from 109.5 degrees to approximately 107 degrees. If two of the electron regions were lone pairs, then now this shape would be called nonlinear or bent, as two of the bonds in the original tetrahedral arrangement are replaced with lone pairs of electrons, leaving two bonds left behind. Again, each lone pair of electrons repels the remaining two bonds more than they repel each other, decreasing the bond angle from 109.5 degrees to approximately 104.5 degrees, a 2.5 degree decrease per lone pair of electrons. For five electron regions where there are no lone pairs, only five bonding pairs, this shape would be trigonal bipyramidal, with bond angles of 120 degrees and 90 degrees. If, again, however, one of these electron regions was a lone pair, then now the shape would be described as a seesaw, with bond angles of just under 180 degrees and 120 degrees. Just under, because the lone pair of electrons would cause increased repulsion and decrease the bond angles slightly. For six electron regions where there were no lone pairs, only six bonding pairs, octahedral, with bond angles of 90 degrees. Even more interesting, however, is if two of these electron regions are lone pairs, with four bonding pairs. Now, the shape is described as square planar, with bond angles between each bond of 90 degrees. 
The bond angles are 90 degrees as each lone pair would repel the bonding pairs equally, meaning they are effectively pushed equally from opposite sides, meaning no change overall. At this level, you should be able to use these rules to predict shapes of molecules for central atoms with up to six electron regions. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out other relevant videos in the links given in the description below and visit chemistrystudent.com for free notes and revision materials.